Welcome to Lecture Online. Now let's take a look at the Lorentz transformation equations for velocity. Okay, v prime is the one we're going to do first, and here are the definitions of v prime, v, and u. v prime is the velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the moving reference frame. v is the velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the rest frame, and u is the velocity of the moving frame relative to the rest frame. All right. We also have written down the two equations that we, that we found in the previous Lorentz transformations, one for position and one for time. X prime is the position as seen by the observer in the moving reference frame. T prime is equal to the time as measured by the observer in the moving reference frame. So how do we find the velocity transformation equations? Well, it turns out that remember that the velocity is equal to the derivative of position divided by time or in respect to time. So what we can do here is we can find the derivative of x prime, the derivative of t prime, and divide one by the other. Or better yet, we can find the differential of x prime. So dx prime is equal to, now notice I've written the equation like this, where gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v square over c square. This is simply a constant, so it's easier to write it like this as a constant. And of course, the, di the differential of x would be dx, so it would be the constant gamma times dx minus u is just a constant and t take the derivative of that or the differential that would be dt. So we can see that the differential of dx prime is equal to gamma times dx minus u dt. We can do the same for the differential of t prime. We can say that dt prime is equal to gamma times the differential of t which would be dt and remember that u and c square are constants so we can write minus dx times u over c squared. So now we have the two differential equations. We can now divide the dx by dt to get v prime. So v prime would be equal to dx prime divided by dt prime, which is equal to gamma times dx minus u dt divided by gamma times dt minus dx u over c squared. And now right away you can see that the gammas cancel out. And so now we're getting a little bit closer. What we want to do now is probably divide both the numerator and the denominator by dt. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, write 1 over dt for the numerator divided by 1 over dt for the denominator. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by dt. If we do that, we get the following. We get v prime is equal to dx dt minus u times dt divided by dt is simply u. Divide this by dt dt, which would be 1, minus dx dt, which would be, well, dx dt, let's just write it down, dx dt, times u divided by c squared. And then, of course, we know that dx dt is simply the velocity relative to the uh, stationary reference frame. So from here, we can then write that v prime is equal to v minus u divided by 1, minus dx dt, which would be v times u divided by c squared. And this is a terrible looking u, so let me rewrite that. There's a u. And then we can go ahead and box that, because that is now equal to the first of the three velocity transformation equations we want to find. Here, this is the velocity as seen by the, uh, the velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the moving reference frame, that's what the prime stands for, is equal to the velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the stationary reference frame, minus the velocity of the moving reference frame relative to the stationary reference frame divided by 1 minus vu over c squared. And that would be the first of the three transformation equations that we obtained by using the two other Lorentz transformation equations in order to find velocity. And that's how that is done.